Hi guys, it's Nancy and I am back with some easy St. Patrick's Day cards and they're going to be foiled and I'm going to teach you double foiling today. So this is pretty easy to do. We're going to start as we normally do. All of these products are supplied by Pink and Main. I will put the link down in the description for you below. So I have two of the um, small foilables here. Now these are um, card A2 card front sizes already, so they're four by five and a quarter. And this one is Lucky Love, and you can see it's L O V E and kind of this Irish kind of shamrock design there. And then we have this heart shamrock. This is called Shamrock Heart, and it says, May luck always be on your side. So we're going to grab one of each of these panels, and I cut the top off so they're easy for me to store. And you're going to need either a laminator, which you want to heat up for 30 minutes, or a mink machine. I do recommend a mink machine. All right. You're also going to need a dusty, dusty brush, which is just a really nice soft brush. I have these in my Amazon shop. And then you're going to need some foil. So we're going to start with this one first. And I'm going to use these gold hearts, which are called Lots of Love Gold, okay? Now this is toner foil. And you're just gonna use some dedicated foil scissors to cut these. You don't want scissors that are sticky. You want them to be nice and sharp. And you want that foil to be a little larger than your panel. Pink and Moil. Pink and Main has this cheer foil. It is called transfer foil. And this is called Lots of Love. They come nicely stored in these boxes, which you want to keep them in because foil is delicate and we don't want it to get scratched or dusty or pet hair or anything like that. Once we have our panel chosen and our foil chosen, we are going to dusty dusty our image and dusty dusty the back of the foil, okay? Not the colored side. Then we're going to place the back of the foil onto our image. We wanna fully cover that image. And then in a mink machine, we use these special toner carrier sheets for the mink. And this just keeps everything together. We're just gonna place that in there, smooth it out, make sure there's no lumps and bumps. And then for me, I am using a mini mink machine. I have it on heat setting three. I'm going to feed this into the center there and I'm going to hold it as I guide it through. I don't need to push it, I'm just gonna wait for it to grab through. And what a mink machine does is it provides pressure and heat. There are five different varying settings for heat. Their pressure is the rollers on the top and the rollers on the bottom. You actually have four rollers in this versus a laminator, which only has two rollers and you cannot control the heat. So mink is specifically designed for foiling. I will 100% always hands down recommend a mink if you are doing foiling. Okay. All right. We're just going to move that aside. We're going to let this cool down. While this cools down, we're going to work on our second one which is the heart shamrock. And we're gonna do the same thing. And on this one, I'm gonna use this really fun foil. This is called tinsel green. You can see it there. It's got some like holographic kind of scratches in there. Same thing, I'm gonna line it up with my panel, cut my foil to be just slightly larger. Put my foil back in the box so I don't mess it up. And the same process, dusty, dusty my image dusty dusty the back of my foil going to take my panel and it always will touch the back side of the foil we want this foil to to adhere to this so we're going to transfer it like this just like that and put it in our carrier sheet now if you are using a laminator you can use a folded piece of parchment paper or copy paper you don't need anything special but I wanna make sure there's none of these wrinkles. So I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit to make sure I don't have any, again, lumps, bumps, wrinkles, or anything like that in there. Then slowly feed that in and guide it through. You wanna make sure your carrier sheet is in the middle. If it's too far to the right or the left, um, it could cause some wrinkling or bunching. If that happens and your carrier sheet starts to get eaten by your mink, most minks have a release machine on the back, a, a release button on the back here. And all you're gonna do is hold that button and then pull your folder back out, okay? You wanna turn the machine off here 
And then you're gonna hold this release button with one hand and then pull your carrier sheet either the front or the back, okay? Now the Mama Mink has a reverse button. So on the Mama Mink, the big one, the 12-inch one, that is an electronic reverse button. This one is not. This is just, all this does is this opens your roller so that you can release whatever is stuck in there, okay? All right, so now we wanna reveal our two panels. Here we go. Very nice, beautiful gold hearts on the foiling. We're gonna save this waste foil. And you can color these in with color pencils or markers, whatever you wanna color them in with. And then here is the green tinsel. Beautiful. Isn't that fun? Okay. Those panels are done. We can color them. We can put them on our cards, but these are done. So we're going to put these aside. We can put them on a card, color them. Those are done. Now, I did tell you guys we're going to do double foiling. So to do double foiling, you're going to need some toner sheets. Okay, you can get these toner sheets from Pink and Main. They have them in the full size panels or the card size panels. And full size panels you can cut in half. You can use for larger images. So these are eight and a half by five and a half. And you get eight sheets here. Or you can get the smaller ones. It's also eight sheets. Um, they're already cut down for you. So we're gonna use these today. Now, if you want to die cut these and foil them, I always recommend foiling first, die cut second, but that'll be another video for you guys. We wanna keep everything in the plastic cover, uh, so they're covered and protected. And this is where we're gonna repeat the process, but we're gonna use the waste foil. So I'm going to do dusty, 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 dusty again. And I wanna line up my sheet right over top of what I just foiled, right? This is the waste foil, but we don't wanna throw it away. We don't wanna waste it. So we kinda of wanna make sure we line up everything pretty straight here. Or as straight as we can get it. Same thing, gonna run that through my protective carrier sheet. I wanna make sure all of that toner is covered, none of that is exposed, no wrinkles, no lumps, no bumps. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Dusty, dusty the back of the foil. Dusty, dusty my carrier sheet. And we wanna make sure that we adhere, or sorry, our toner sheet, we wanna adhere the black side of the toner sheet to the back side of the foil. This is the part of the foil that releases. So you always wanna see the colored side. This is what it's gonna look like when it's done. repeat the process. Doesn't matter if you put these up or down. Now, if you have a laminator that does not provide enough heat or pressure, sometimes you might need to feed this through twice. Put it through once and then flip it over and run it through twice. Just depends on your laminator. Okay, we're gonna let this cool down. But while this is cooling down, that looks pretty cool. I like it, but I don't like the black. So what am I gonna do about that? Well, in this case, I'm gonna add something else to it. And I think this would really look cool with, let's do, let's do some holographic gold. So this is called Fairy Wings Gold. So I'm gonna cut this foil again. And this is where double foiling comes in. So let me explain what we're doing here. 
when we foil our original foilables panels, these guys here, we are covering the toner. So the black exposed toner is all covered now. So these are foiled. I can't really do anything more with these in terms of foiling. However, when we take that waste foil we've done here and we foiled over a toner sheet, when I reveal this, we have a beautiful waste foil toner sheet, but we still have, this goes in the garbage, we still have some exposed toner. You can certainly leave it like this. It looks great, but I want to show you how to double foil this. If you don't like that black exposed toner, we're going to repeat the process. Dusty, dusty our image, dusty, dusty our foil. And now we're going to take this foil and apply it over that exposed toner. And again, we want all of that black toner to be covered. Put that in my carrier sheet and watch what we're gonna get here, watch the results. Okay, same thing with this one. We're gonna reveal this. And it certainly looks great like that. We can leave it alone if we want to. We're gonna throw this away. This foil has all been removed. But I think we need some rainbow. So we're gonna bring in some Roy G. Biv rainbow foil here. And this is not any holographic rainbow, it's just rainbow stripes. And I'm gonna cut that to a little bit bigger than my panel size. Put my foil back in the box. And again, you guys know the process. Dusty, dusty our image. Dusty, dusty the back of our foil. We're gonna put that panel right on there. Smooth everything out. And again, doesn't matter. I'm gonna put this one in upside down, backwards, flipped over, whatever you wanna call it. As long as your foil is touching the silver side of the foil, the back side of your foil is touching your toner image. This one's done, we wanna let it cool down before we reveal it. Let that cool down. And we will have four panels that we can easily put on cards now. So I have A2 card size panels here. I have a little bit of just regular black card stock out of my stash. Put a little bit of adhesive on here. Line that up. Here is our shamrock heart panel. It's already foiled. This was the first one we did. It's already perfectly sized. So that's a very easy foiled St. Patrick's Day card. Now this one I probably will go in with some markers and color later. Um, dye base markers work best. Just be careful if you're gonna use alcohol markers to make sure that the alcohol markers don't pull away at your foil. Okay, that one's done. Now let's reveal these guys. Now remember, these were the waste foil from these cards, okay? And we already foiled them once onto the black toner sheets. So now we foiled them again. So this is the second time they've been foiled and this is called double foiling. And you can see we have that fun green background, but we also now have gold as our shamrock heart. See that? So fun. 
Okay. And now this, yes, this can be used again on a toner sheet. That's the never ending cycle of foiling. Or you can just put this on a card front. How fun is that? Okay, let's see what the other one looks like. Remember the other one started like this and then we foiled it on the toner sheet with the gold hearts. And now that black exposed toner I have done in the rainbow and look how fun that is. Same thing, just gonna adhere a little adhesive on it. That is how you do double foiling using the foilables from Pink and Main and their Cheer Foil. So hopefully you guys have learned something new with doing toner foiling. If you have any questions, post them down below. I will uh, list the supplies I used. Again, we used the tinsel green foil and this holographic gold is called Fairy Wings Gold. Okay, then I used the Roy G. Biv, which is the rainbow striped foil. And I use the gold hearts, which is called Lots of Love Gold. So those are the foils I used. And the foilables that I used were the full black toner sheets. Again, you can get them in the card front size or you can get them in full half sheet sizes. And then we also used the Lucky Love and the Shamrock Hearts. So all of these are over at Pink and Main. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep on foiling. Bye-bye.